here it is. Harbor Freight Chicken Coop. Middle of winter. 15 degrees. Oh, hi, girls. Oh, so you got to put in some wood. You know. Make sure. The main thing is just venting. You got to be. It's got to breathe. If you keep it all locked up tight. She's going to start sweating. Very simple. Pretty effective. Have lost no chickens due to weather, any cold, any kind. Easy clock. Uh oh. Easy big chuck. Very effective setup. Extra hay in the corner. Heated drinkers. Out of the hay. The chickens absolutely love the hay. Which holds up good. Oh, hi, girl. Hello, girl. And basically, you gotta put your pallets down and as much bedding as you can. It's a big chuck. Because it does, it does sweat a little bit along the edges and, and the tarps here and there. So you will have to change the bedding once in the winter. No doubt it is. I haven't cleaned this since the middle of summer. And it's now the first day of March. But it's not bad for the price. Like I said, you just you have to vent it. In the summertime, the dust will be so bad the chickens will cough if you don't vent. And in the wintertime, if you don't vent, you know, obviously the, you'll smell the ammonia. And if your bedding's getting wet, you know, twice a week you're changing it, it's time to completely change the coop. But for the most part, this is held up very good. To roost for some chickens. The, the, these ones are so big. The Brahmas are big. They like the uh, the bed. They like sleeping on the bed. Heated drinker, very important. I suggest I would suggest getting the seven gallon drinkers in case you gotta go away for the weekend. Couple feed troughs. Thirty pound hanger. Oh, the chickens are happy. They're really happy. Here they go. Get in there, girls. And obviously, you close. Put the latch on. Nice big window. It's not a bad setup. It's like a mini barn. And here they are. Yeah. Mm -hmm.